Hello everyone, welcome to some burned out by no plays slay the spire. We're gonna play. I guess I died last episode. I remember it fondly. Very, it was, ooh, what a nice death it was. Just completely out of nowhere. The most unexpected death I could have imagined. Because, oh, it turns out this enemy does vulnerable when she hits. And they don't even tell you. They don't. My plans for this series, by the way, are, uh... I keep playing until we unlock everything. And, you know, so we still got like five or four levels of unlocks per character here. And maybe by the time we do that, the third character will be available to play. So we can get a random rare card, get 100 gold, or gain 250 gold if I start with 40 out of 80. Which, I mean, the beginning is when we will... I'm gonna... Give me the random rare card. Brutality, huh? I mean, I'll use it. If you're, just, if you're gonna gift it to me in such a manner, you don't be rude, rude to refuse. Um, let's go to the... Here. You know, we're on episode... This is episode six, isn't it? So, I think it's about time we got some... You know, like, what are, what are the thoughts on... Uh, on Slay the Spire so far. What what things are you hoping to see in the new, or like when it's done, or like what they continue to patch in? I would obviously love to see more characters. I think, you know, I'm gonna assume there's not just three characters in the game, because that's too few. This is a game where it's like, I mean, brutality happening the whole time is kinda like, are we even sure about this? Like, if we used it... ...and then beat the enemy in six turns without taking damage... ...then, because of burning blood, then it's still like a combat. That is fine. But, you know, we're gonna get hit for two here. I just feel like that card is a net negative. And we take, we're gonna take the one damage, like, regardless of whether we want it or not. And all this does is draw more cards. Like, this, this is not something we should use. I don't think at all. This guy does too much damage. For, to start with. Like, we just don't have the defense to not take a couple hits each time. But yeah, I don't think this game needs, like, Binding of Isaac amount of characters. We still have to defend pretty much regardless. But it does... This game needs at least five. That would be my... If I wanted to be, like, completely fair to, like, how much work that is and, you know, how long it would take and stuff like that. My enjoyment of this game could go on for miles with five solid characters to play. And if you wanted to add more as the DLC or whatever, I'd buy them. I'd do it. Because this is a good game, and it could, you know, there, it has so much potential in the way of stuff. It's also just like, even if we have a third defend, we can't afford to stall. Because we're losing one HP each turn. I regret this card that we have. I don't think I'm going to use it anymore. Unless it's like real, maybe the end game, it'll be solid. But we're just going to bash and then kill you. Like, we lost 11 HP there. Which isn't so bad, I guess. Sword Boomerang is meh. Pommel Strike's pretty good. Skills cost zero, but whenever you play a skill, exhaust it. That's the problem, is like, that'll be good for defense once. But then you'll never get them again. Rather have Pommel Strike. Let's go in this general direction. Oh, it's a merchant right before another merchant. We have 115 Clash. Can only be played of every card. Yeah, no, screw that. Gain energy, lose 3 HP. I'm done losing HP. <laughs> Just for any reason. Dark Embrace isn't... We don't have enough for it? Man. Gain 8 block and draw 1 card. Shrug it off. I mean, that's better than defend right there. I think we should buy that. But, what about Mind Blast? Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. 
I mean, the more cards you get, the more damage you could pretty much just, like, instantly do. If it were innate, which it's not. But if it were... Whenever you apply vulnerable, also apply weak. I mean, that's, I don't know if that's worth 312, but... I'm gonna get Shrug It Off. This is on sale, so I'll get it. You know, Blood for Blood's still solid card. Closer to late game than uh, early game, but still. And then, yeah, you want to go to another shop? No, I sure don't. But I also don't want to go to the left. But, well, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's do it. We're, why even make decisions anymore that involve tactical planning? I don't buy enjoying that at all. Double defend and pommel strike. Yeah, that way we can add a card to our hand that we're not going to use at all. I like it. Oh yeah, give me shrug it off when we don't need to defend. I like that. I'm not using brutality. You get out of here with it. It's not for me. And there's no card I could draw where I'm like, yeah, this would... Like, yeah, we just have this. This is not, this is not good. Just end the turn. We don't even have anger yet. Presumably we'll get it at some point. You're gonna attack and block, huh? Because you're just a son of a bitch? Is that what, is that what it is? Yeah, that's, that's what we do. Pretty basic. But yeah, I wanna, I wanna like volley back and forth between Ironclad and the Silent, just to keep. Let's see, if we deal, we don't, are you serious? I gotta gain the eight block, cause we can't kill him this turn. I gotta do that block as well, and then we can strike you for a little more, but you're about to block yourself yet again. I wanted to bash and strike, but they decided not to give me the strike with it. Believe me. Believe you me. I am as eager to get combat over with as you are. At least now we can kill you. Uh, ooh, regen potion is nice. Solid card, please. I don't want corruption. I do want thunderclap. Thunderclap is a staple of any good deck that involves making people vulnerable and doing more damage to them. Four, eight. Is it? This does double. I think Thunderclap Strike Strike does more damage than Bash Strike. Oh yeah, we're not done talking about like stuff that would be better. I think there's enough cards. I, uh, you know, I mean, and, and it's plus like they have even more that we've just let yet to unlock yet. So, get out of here, brutality. See, I don't think there's any problem. Like the characters that exist now, their current card selection is solid. I think it's good. I'm gonna shrug it off on the off chance you give me Pommel Strike. Which you didn't. But that's fine. All you're gonna do is block, I'll break through it, you'll die. Yeah, look at that garbage. Now you're trying to flee. Joke's on you, you're dead. Are you laughing? Cause I am. Yeah, give me all my gold back. Swift Potion is always very nice. Here we go. We've got some blues. Weak enemy loses two strength. Exhaust. Um, well, yeah, I mean, that's minus two, right? Forever. Th that's a permanent thing. Uh, lose three HP? No. Shockwave is so good. We gotta have, we gots to have the shockwaves. Oh, of course it's you fucking slavers. Making me vulnerable and doing 13 damage out of the gate. I gotta shrug that off and defend. If, I, if I'm gonna have any hope. And then we just strike you. Because I can't do other things. Yeah. 
Ooh, you didn't make me vulnerable that time. I guess that's the one that makes me vulnerable. Probably. Because I'd rather you just die. Like, especially because, yeah, because you were going to make me vulnerable. So I wouldn't want to defend at that point. I would want to do enough damage to you that I could kill you before you set up your 19 damage hit. Your ridiculous 19 damage hit. Blood for Bud will kill you, is that correct? It is. So, yeah. I'd call that the good move. Whirlwind! Draw two cards, place... No, screw that. Give me Whirlwind. Yeah, you know I like that Whirlwind. And also, we're gonna Elite, because I want a Relic. So far, we don't got any Relics, and I can deal with you. I think we do need to Brutality for this fight. And then I'll Shockwave ya. Hell yeah. You're gonna buff your own strength, not before I give you a bunch of turns of you dying. Damn straight. Don't shrug it off, actually. Just save it. Whatever card we were gonna draw, we're gonna want it for this turn. If it's an attack. It was blood for blood. Also, we... That's not a bad synergy with blood for blood. We're taking the least amount of damage possible to make this energy go down. Alright, you're gonna do... 10 damage. I really... I don't think we can afford to defend ever. So... I'm gonna pommel strike you. Let's get the thunderclap going so you're doing it some more. And then I think we just gotta go all out and give me regen potion also. Yeah, that's pain, but that's blood for blood going down is what that is. And you're vulnerable, so if we, we only have three energy. That'll do 15 damage. That'll do like 20 something. Yeah, seven to all enemies. Three is 21 damage total. Not good enough. Do we bash you for more vulnerable or, or do we think you're gonna be dead in the next two turns? We're about to do 27 damage, gets you down to 30. That's kind of the max we can hope to deal. But, yeah, I think this is fine. I think that's what you do. We're not trying to stall out on someone who's just gonna gain all of his stuff back. And he's done being weakened, also. But he's decided to use his shitty attack at that point. Which I, I'm a fan of. Like, thanks, I guess. We can shrug this off. But first, let's see if Pommel Strike will allow me to get a card that'll kill you. See, deal six. Oh, you're dead. You're a dead, you're a dead person. And we didn't even lose that much health. We got Vadra. At the start of each combat, gain run strength. I like it. That's fine by me. A weak potion is solid. Oh, we get feed. I've seen feed before. And I've seen people not use feed when they should have used feed. I'll take it. As you walk into the room, you hear a, oh, it's this thing. Uh, yeah. Success? I got it first try again. I've seen what happens if you don't do success. It, it just raises the percentage by 10% each turn, and you lose more and more HP until you actually get it. All right, we got the relic, and it is, at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. That's basically the silence ability. That's good. Give me this campfire. Should heal. And then show me this chest. It better be good. Kunai. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. That's pretty good. I'm so confident, I'm gonna do this other elite enemy. Let's fight. And I can deal with you. You got nothing. You are not a good person. You just gain a bunch of block at the end of your turn. You think I can care about that? We're gonna shockwave the hell out of you. Hell yeah. Uh, 
Should we Brutality? I don't know that we need to draw that many more cards. So let's, let's use Brutality then. Deal seven, deal six damage. Yeah, just strike you then. Oh yeah, now you're awake, but you stunned. So what you gonna do? But, well, the answer is nothing. That's that's not what I meant. Okay. Pommel strike. Just to see what else you're gonna give me. Thunderclap, huh? Do we shrug off and defend with the rest of this? I think we do. And then that's perfect, you know? But you know, again, he's only weakened for such an amount of time and he's only vulnerable for such an amount of time. We don't want to squander this. And we can't do three attacks in one turn. Feed exhausts, so yeah, we shouldn't do that. Pommel strike you. You're gonna give me a regular strike with it. I like it. And then we'll defend. Not a lot. I can apply, I'm gonna use the weak potion next turn. This seems like a good spot for it. Okay, now you're just gonna be, uh, well then, well now we're not gonna use it then. It's a waste to use it this turn. And we can already blood for blood, like at zero, that's real good. Oh, but you are not vulnerable yet. So you know what we do, we bash. And we'll still get our three attacks in with the strike and the blood for blood. Now we have more dexterity. Our blocks are gonna be like seven now instead of five. And look how much health he has, which is to say none. Oh, you lower my dex. Oh, you lower my strength. How dare you? You wanna do 18 damage to me? You're in a bad spot. You're vulnerable. That's why we're gonna do 16 damage. That's why we're gonna do nine damage. Did I say 16 the first time? I don't recall. But I'll increase my max HP, and I did not forget. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. That's also really good. Another whirlwind, or do we go fiend fire? I am a big fan of fiend fire. I do enjoy that card. I want to take it because on the off chance we get that one relic that synergizes so good with it. Are there any more elite enemies? There's not. I want to fight more. Did so well. Oh, these, these bitches, okay. Well, guess what, you're all vulnerable. And what if I just do Whirlwind right now? Do you all die? Ha 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 ha, that's power right there. Strength potion, I like it. Oh, that, now we get anger. Burning Pact, exhaust one card, draw two cards. I don't like that. If that costed zero energy, you could maybe sell me on it. But I'm gonna go Anger now. Could always use an Anger card. We don't even need to rest, but we could upgrade a card, which is why we wanna do that, of course. No question about it. Now, what would be good? What does Shrug It Off do? Gains 11 block and draws a card. That's pretty good. What about Brutality? It You make it in eight. Well, that doesn't help, because I only sometimes want to use that card. What about Shockwave? Five weak and vulnerable to all enemies is so good. And Whirlwind is so good. What about Feed? Gain four permanent, and it does even more. Eh, eh to that one. Fiendfire Plus ain't bad. I'm always a fan of Thunderclap Plus, but I think we gotta go Shockwave Plus here. All right, let's check out this question mark. It's enemies, huh? Oh, you're gonna start me off with Whirlwind again? Oh man, if only you guys weren't gonna totally die from this. Although you might all turn into like, blocking things, and then I wouldn't kill you with it. But you are also vulnerable, so yeah, you're dead. Sorry. <laughs> So sorry about this. I'm not sorry at all. He's he's lying through his teeth. Gain five block, deal five damage, iron wave, good card. Gain energy, and I don't want to do that. Another blood for blood? 
now. Give me that Iron Wave. We'll eventually phase out some of our other cards for that. Like our Defend cards would go if we were allowed to do that. Which, I mean, it's situational. Enemy or question mark, huh? Let's question mark it up. It's a shop. I kind of like that, actually. Jack of all trades is good. Uppercut is good. Pummel. Deal two damage four times. Exhaust. Why is that? Not only why is that blue, and also why is anything? That's eight damage. That's nothing at all. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain five block for each. That's not very good. That's very situational. In Flame. We should, we should probably get ourselves one of those. We should probably give ourselves a Shrug It Off also. Shuriken would have been good to pair with Kunai. Oh well. I, I mean, I don't have enough money for it anyway. I did not to start, and I don't now after spending even more. We have full health. Let's upgrade a card. We Did we get two Blood for Bloods? No, we didn't. What were we going to upgrade? Oh, we were going to upgrade Whirlwind, probably. So I'm going to upgrade Brutality. Just because we're coming up against the big boss, and like I will want it for this. Alright, let's do that. We gon' bash and strike ya, and anger ya, or anger me. And then we get more decks, and look, we interrupted ya. I don't know what you, if you were even gonna be doing anything useful, but we interrupted your bullshit, whatever that was gonna be. Okay. Oh, I should have used the strength potion. I'll use it now. Sharp hide. Get out of here with your sharp hide. Uh, how do we best do this? Iron Wave will protect myself. A little bit like that, that's not bad. I don't want to exhaust my hand, thank you. I don't know, I think we're just going to take damage here. Then we're done blocking. I don't really want to use... I'll use Thunderclap. Keep the vulnerable going and it gives me my plus dexterity. We'll be able to block our way through most of these other ones. I can afford to take nine damage. Yeah, see, like, this is where we need Shrug it off. But first we use Shockwave. So you do six times two, which is already what you did. Wasn't it six times two before I used weakened? And now it's also the same amount? Well. All right then. I'm gonna take two damage then. But at least sharp has gone. All right, let's do 40 damage to you. Is it possible? I mean, we'll do 50 with this, if we just did that. I guess? It'll, it's even more than 50, too. <laughs> what, do you, what did you think? Should we draw three cards? We have one energy left. Not worth it at all. Let's go. Yeah, give yourself sharp hide again, see how that works out. Defend myself for seven. Do a pommel strike. Gives me angers. I don't really wanna... I mean, I kinda do. We're gonna gain all our health back anyway. Like, just do so much damage. Like, as much as you can possibly do damage-wise. 
Yeah, you're kind of done. Ah, it makes me feel good. Good card? Fiend fire. Brutality again? No, ne not necessary. Another feed? Yeah! I can see us having a bunch of horde battles where we gain, like, plus six max HP per battle. Because we use feed twice well. That'll be good. Elites now drop two relics when defeated. Ooh, Or... Gain energy at the start of each turn. All enemies start with two strength. Well, we can kind of weaken them pretty solidly. Or, oh, Runic Pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. I mean, that... One, drawing one less card per turn is meh. Although Bag of Preparation kind of knocks that out acceptably. I don't know. Give me that stone. And let, we even have three weak potions. Like, that'll get us through this floor. We'll be fine. Level two, the city. That's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and whatnot, and I'll see you guys next time.